Sorry. Didn't know you wanted your kid dead. Although, for a couple of G's, I could still make it happen. Who the hell are you? I am a complete stranger who apparently cares more about whether your kid dies than you do. You're Dr. House. You've seen my stage show. She's not dying. She has pancreatitis. Once you've treated that, I'm taking her home. And do what? Burn sage? I want you to do the surgery. My father had gallstones. They were totally harmless. Alice had one bad one, but it passed. For all we know, this is over. And for all we know, she could get sick again tomorrow. Then I'll take her to her pediatrician. She's six, Rob. She shouldn't have unnecessary surgery. Or a moron for a mom. What can you do? You're the doctor. I'm the mother. I outrank you. Live with it. I've read the file. You've got 15 minutes. It's people like this who killed Copernicus. Galileo. Either way. And they just locked Galileo up. They killed his spirit. Nobody likes a show off. Luckily, Alice Hartman has a dad who's willing to see reason. Reason is defined by slavishly deferring to you. Their doctor. Your Honor, I've had no opportunity to consult my attorney. There's no time. All I want is a second opinion before- No time! Your testimony is their child will die if I don't grant this motion right now. Am I under oath? Let's say yes. My testimony is that this child might die if you don't grant this motion right now. Literally no time for a second opinion. Wouldn't be as good as the first opinion. Dr. Cuddy, what do you think? She's not a specialist in this area. Her opinion is worthless. Dr. Cuddy, what do you think of Dr. House? Is he as big a jerk as I think he is? Bigger. But he knows what he's talking about. Got a page? She's complaining about her stitches. Nurse just said that's completely normal. Did you uh, get the test results for the gallstones? Any minute now. No time for a second opinion, but the test takes three. My skin hurts. I know I no longer have the right to demand it, but could you please take a look? Sure. She's pissed now. She's just looking for things to go wrong. You're right. I'm so petty. I hope she dies so it vindicates my opinion. <sighs> I didn't mean that, sweetie. Mommy was being sarcastic. She's a few years away from grasping sarcasm, don't you think? Guys. Um, I already gave you that number. Simple surgical procedure turns a little girl into the English patient. What gives? Must be allergic to something we used in the surgery. Cameron. C-A-M-E-R-O-N. This is my office. I'm talking. There are people here who work for me. They're not listening. Explain this to me. Schritter froze my account. They're checking theirs. I'm on hold with a lawyer. Call Wilson's lawyer. He'll tell you exactly how and why you're screwed. This kid has no history of allergies. You gotta talk to Schritter. You gotta make this go away. Yeah, great plan. The man's obviously open to reason. Well, here's the plan. We do nothing. We while away the time diagnosing the patient. The stones were calcium bilirubinate pigment stones. Which are non-conclusive. Kid presented with low-grade fever, mild anemia. That plus the stones indicates bacterial infection. Bacterial infections don't cause a vesicular rash. And doing nothing is not a plan. It's specifically a lack of a plan. We cut into her belly. Bad boys escape. They swarm over, colonize the wounds, and kaplow. Vesicular rash. Allergic reaction is 100 times more likely with or without a history. Fever and anemia could have been symptoms of pancreatitis. Hello? Thank you for your help. They froze my accounts. Thank you for your help? It's not her fault.